if I'm drunk. So let's say I'm like, it's just not like a reasonable question to me. Like, hey, art people, welcome to my couch. Should I call this the artist's couch? I feel like that would be such a cool name for like a segment. Can't you just see like, and now to Allison on the artist's couch, and then it's like the artist's couch. Anyway, I just finished a big drawing, and so I'm doing some doodles to kind of relax my brain before going into a next project. And I thought that it would be fun whilst I doodle in my little sketchbook to do another video of like, like a listicle type thing. So um, I have a few already, I'll link them in the description. I think my favorite one that I did is like TV shows to watch while creating or whatever I called it. Um, Cause I just love listening to TV shows, but that's not today's point. Uh, today I wanna talk to you guys about my least favorite questions I get when people you know, see me drawing or find out that I'm an artist and my favorite questions that I get about being an artist or when people see me doing art or whatever. So, um, this is the doodle that I'm working on and I'm just gonna like shade it in while I talk and then I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. So let me get comfy. Oh, the artist catch. So, a question I get a lot that I always don't like to get is when I'm drawing and someone walks up and they're like, oh, who is that? So here's why I don't like this question. There's no good answer to it. Like, I don't know what people want to hear. Like, if I'm drunk, so let's say I'm like, <laughs> it's just not like a reasonable question to me, like either, I'm drawing someone that you would recognize and you don't. So now it's embarrassing because I'll say, oh, I'm drawing Robert Downey Jr. And you'll be like, oh, that's uncomfortable. Now we're both uncomfortable because you couldn't write, and then you'll, ugh. and then like, if they're totally just like, oh, I'm not, oh my gosh, I'm rambling. So there's that. There's like the potential for discomfort if I'm attempting to draw someone and it's so bad that you don't recognize them and now I have to explain to you, well it's not done yet, like that. And then we both leave feeling like, oh. The other possibility is that I'm drawing someone that you wouldn't know anyway, like my mom or like a portrait for a commission, like a friend, whatever. And then it just feels like odd because what are you, like what is your response now. Like I say, oh, I'm drawing my mom. It's not like you know my mom. You can't tell me if it looks like her. I guess you could say like, oh, it looks really good, but does it? Like, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. And then the biggest reason that I dislike this question is because usually when I'm drawing, I'm not drawing a specific person. So people say, oh, who is that? I say, oh, it's not really anyone. And then they look at me like I'm crazy. Like, excuse me, you're the one who walked up to a stranger and asked them what they're doing. Like, it's not, I'm sorry that wasn't the answer you were expecting, but you can't look at me like I'm weird for answering your question. So I really just, it's not so much the question itself, it's just that I've never had a positive reaction when answering it. It's always weird and it's never, no one ever is satisfied with it, with the answer, so. Well, I didn't even like work on the drawing while I talked about that. I got a little annoyed just thinking about it. But yeah, I don't like that question. That's just me personally. Maybe some people love that question. I don't. The second question that I really just don't like is like the kid, the like, can you draw me question or like any other like, oh, can you, um, can you draw this? Like, and I don't like that because usually when people are making requests like that, it's not a serious request. Like, I almost feel like they expect me to say sure and just like draw them right there, like in 30 seconds. If I could do that, I would be a billionaire, first of all, because there is no way I would not capitalize on a skill like that. But, I mean, truly it's like, 
I can't do that. I don't know anyone who can unless you want a caricature. And if you do want that, I'm not gonna give it to you for free. Like caricature or incredible drawing superpower that happened in 30 seconds, like it would cost money. And if I were to say, so if I answer like, yeah, sure, I'd love to draw you. Um, it's this much for, this is usually my response. Like it's this much for this size print. It's that much for that size print, like blah, blah, blah. And then they look at me like I'm some sort of greedy, money-grubbing but, right? Because they just asked a question, they weren't really like, they did not think through that request, they did not think through the fact that this is a value, like you are placing value on it by asking me to do it for you. I'm not gonna do it for free and me asking you, me quoting you basically, is not like rude. Like you asked me for a service and I, I'm telling you what it would cost. I would never, you know, see someone changing their oil or working on their car and pull up next to them and be like, hey, can you do mine? And expect them to do it right now for free. So I just like, I never like when people are like, hey, can you draw me? Or like, hey, can you draw this thing? And because they're almost never serious. Okay, so an actual instance of this was when I was like working on a drawing and this guy comes up and he's with his girlfriend and he's like, oh wow, you're so good, like can you draw my girlfriend? And I was like, yeah, I would love to, like, um, so you could send me like a picture of her and we could set up a date for her to sit and we can talk about like what days work for you if you want to do it that way um, and then what, like we could talk, like what sizes would you be interested in? And I'm just asking like, I feel like this is out of focus. I'm just asking like the questions that you ask, like I'm not being weird or unreasonable, but he's looking at me now like I'm a crazy person. He's looking at me like, why aren't you drawing my girlfriend right now? Like, why are you asking me these questions? And I'm just sitting there like trailing off because I'm seeing this weird reaction from him. It just kind of like froze and he's just standing there and his girlfriend's just standing there and I'm just sitting there and it's just like, 10 to 15 solid seconds seconds of awkward and then he like makes some like oh you know and then he goes and this is like not uncommon pretty much anytime I get a question like that and I start to just give people the information on what I need to do their request they just look totally floored like like I said if I could draw you, like the way Spongebob draws that man in the episode where Squidward's trying to teach him, like I would do it and it would not be cheap, but you would at least have your drawing and your answer instantly, but unfortunately I'm not Spongebob, I'm a human woman and I can't draw that fast and I don't do it for free. Maybe if I was a billionaire. So if you'd like me to draw for free, feel free to Venmo me a billion dollars and I'll draw whatever you want. So I guess it's not really free. Now, the most annoying question by far that I'll get is when people find out that I am an artist, they see that I draw, you know, they find out that I can draw, they see me drawing whatever, they look at my website, and they ask me if I can do something totally unrelated. Like, they'll be like, oh, could you do my family, um, could you take a picture of my family for our, like my daughter's birthday? Or like, do you think you could paint my dog? I gotta tell you guys, un like two dimensional art, even though they're all flat and they're on like a canvas or whatever, they're not all the same. Like, yes, I can draw, I consider myself pretty good at it. That does not mean that I'm a great photographer. They're different. And it's another awkward reaction when I tell people like, Oh, I mean, no, I don't really do that. They look at me like, then why are you an artist? Like, they're different. Like, I can play the piano, but I will not go join your band and be your guitarist. Like, they're both instruments, but they're not the same. Okay, so now that I'm like annoyed at things that have happened in the past and rambled quite a bit about reasons I don't like those questions. I'm going to talk about my three favorite questions that I get about my art. So one that I love is when people ask me, 
like how I got into drawing. And depending on like the vibe that they're giving off, I'll either give them like a really long answer, like, oh, I started drawing when I was really young and I like did this and that and then I came back to it. And if they're like, you know, more of just like in passing asking like, oh, how'd you get into this? I just give them like a more brief answer. But I always really like that question because I feel like people, I feel like it's an opportunity to express like drawing is a very accessible, like arts in general are a very accessible passion and I feel like they're, it's sometimes misrepresented as something that you have to be born good at to enjoy and to do and that is so not the case. So whenever I get that question I enjoy giving an answer that reflects that like anyone can do it and anyone can enjoy it. The next question that I love when people ask me is what inspired this? That's not a super common question. I usually only get it if I'm like at a gallery or at an event where like the whole purpose of the thing is for people to look at art. I don't normally get that ever if people just like spot me drawing, but I really enjoy it because it is so fun to meet someone who like cares about the story behind the art and like wants to know about the artist and both this and the other question I mentioned I also enjoy because it's always a very positive experience for the person I'm talking to as well as me like they're always they're asking because they're interested like they really want to know and they always leave with like a smile on their face because they got like a really pleasant experience from my wonderful oratory talents <laughs> but no really it's like they're asking because they have a genuine interest and I can supply an answer that is thought out and tangible, and whereas like the other questions, it's just like, what are you drawing? Like, I don't know. Okay, and so my third favorite question that people will ask me is, you know, when they, is this focus? Like, what is happening with my face? It looks like it's focused. Okay, so my third favorite is when people are like, it doesn't ever happen like organically. I, Organically, it's usually, it doesn't ever happen organically. It's usually when we're in the midst of a conversation already. But I like when people have asked, I like when people ask me, have you ever thought about drawing blank? Because I like an informed question and it almost always leads me to consider new possibilities. I will give an example. I was recently talking with a good friend of mine and she was like, do you ever draw like houses? I think it would be so cool if you drew like uh, spooky places of note because we we're talking about Halloween. And I loved that because it made, it like sparked a new idea for me for a series. Like, and this has happened a few times where people are like, oh, have you ever thought about, um, you know, putting this or that into your art? Like, I love, those questions and I know that that's kind of like such a vague question and kind of hard to like nail down but I mean if we're going by like favorite interactions I have when people are asking me questions about art like that's hands down my favorite even when it's like have you ever thought about doing this and the answer is like yeah I have and it's up to like <laughs> it's like still a chance to acknowledge something and like further a discussion and sometimes it even leads to like great partnerships and you know another favorite question I have is like hey can I buy this but that's besides the point um, but truly like I would say that that's one of my favorites because it leads me to consider new possibilities and think outside the box it's definitely easy to get stuck in a rut of drawing like a lot of the same stuff and discussion like that is really helpful. So I hope you guys found that interesting. I definitely don't, it's, this has been like a less structured video for me, but I like this format. I feel like it's good. I just like to talk to you guys. And here is the final shaded blockity bloop. Um, I think it's really pretty might add some, God, I really just need to focus. I mean, I'm probably gonna add like a blotch of red or like orange in there or something, make it really cute. Um, but yeah, I hope that 
you guys found that interesting and helpful, like if you ever want to strike up a conversation with an artist, maybe these tips will come in handy. Of course, every artist is different. Maybe there's someone who will comment on this and be like, I love when people ask me to draw them. Sorry I gave you a vocal fry. That's just my go-to other person is talking voice. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, what are some questions that you like to get and don't like to get? Or what are some questions that you may have for me or whatever? Um, comment below. I hope you have an excellent day and I will see you next time.